here bringing you another video. Uh, this one is going to be on Hall of Fame Trish, the newest uh, Hall of Fame card that is added into the game. Uh, so let's take a look at Hall of Fame Trish. She has one link. It's the Hall of Fame link. All color moves start with four more move points and the one gear, the Hall of Fame gear. She is a coach. She's a purple move damage coach. So at 12k, purple moves deal 25% more damage. That's a really nice coach for sure. Um, I'm going to run three build sets for you guys today. We're going to do a three star, a four star, and a five star set. Uh, we'll end up using every one of her moves between the three sets, so you'll get to see all of them. Uh, so the first one is available at 3 star. It's, we're going to use the Sharpshooter. It's a submission, 7 MP, place 15 gems and do 11k damage for 5 turns. Uh, remaining gems turn into Reinforce. Uh, the Matrix Revolutions, uh, 6 MP, deal 46k damage and destroy 10 random Reinforce gems. And then um, the Matrix deal 36k damage and destroy six random yellow gems. Uh, so that's the move set we're going to use first. That one's only 5 MP. For the Entourage, we're going to use Sting to start. And we are going to use, uh, for four more MP, we're going to use Austin 316. So our sub does 50% more damage. Uh, so we're doing 17k a turn for five turns instead. Uh, I'm using Powerhouse Angle to reduce opponent's multiply gems by 70% because I'm going against Hall of Fame Lita for these previews. She is strapped, we are not. And I'm using uh, Sasha Banks uh, for her 9k ability. At 9k, there's a 25% increased chance for yellow gems on the starting gem board. So hopefully we leave ourselves enough yellow gems to destroy at the start. Uh, you could also use Batista. So... Uh, getting about 25k extra damage, maybe a little bit more, 28k from having Austin 316 on there. If your Batista is leveled up, um, you could use Batista and let's see where mine's at. Or you could use Cena, 40% uh, more red damage. Uh, so that would get you roughly 16k on this red one and what, um, 3.6 about 15 on this one, so probably about a wash, about a toss-up for move damage. Um, sub damage can't be nerfed, so I'm just going to go with that. But you could also use um, Cena, or if your Batista's leveled up, um, those would be options as well. So let's get in here and take a look. Uh, you could use the uh, Reinforce, more rein uh, Reinforce gems do more damage, but she's destroying 10 gems, she's a showboat. Um, you know, it's going to be 40% of, let's average, say, 3k uh, gem damage. Um, well, we'll even go 4k. Uh, so about 1,200 a gem. Uh, 10 gems would be 12k. So much better damage off of the sub trainer or red move damage trainer. Uh, I do have tour perks, but they're only at starting move. Start with one more uh, MP. So let's take a look at those real quick. Uh, da, da, da. All color moves start with one more MP. And then I uh, do I have get an extra on a match? I don't think I do. I don't. So that's about the only thing exciting there for that. Uh, didn't force a pin, so that's great. So we can place up to 15 uh, sub gems. <clears throat> we can only destroy 10 reinforced gems. So I'm only going to do um, probably 11 or 12. Uh, in case gems don't get broke. So I'll do red and yellow and stop right around there. We'll just put it on all of them this time. Probably at least three gems will get broken. Because ideally, I only want to destroy... Um, well, I want to destroy enough reds to recharge the moves. Doesn't take very many. That's the other really cool thing about this is when you destroy a reinforced gem, the pin bar doesn't move. So we do all that, and now we got enough yellows, we can just start the whole thing all over again. So 
So this is actually, um, even though it's the three-star build, this would be my favorite uh, move set for her. You're almost never going to take any damage. Very small risk of losing. And I'm just going to stop again at the reds and yellows. I just want to make sure I can get, get my reds. So Very unlikely, again, that the AI wouldn't break a bunch on five turns, but I'd rather be safe than sorry and just keep the cycle going. Showboats don't have the best gem damage anyway. So here, pretty ugly. Only two reds. Uh, but luckily her moves are low charge. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the destroy reinforce because we're not going to get more on the board. And then take the screen match here. Maybe not the smartest, because it left her a 5 match. But I don't want her to get greens or blues. And all we need is either a yellow or red match to get started again, so we're back to the sub already. So again, even if you get a bad board, um, don't if they match a bunch of your gems, a very small chance of losing control of the gem board. So this is a very big uh, control card. Um, with this moveset. It is not fast. Uh, this is, like I said, my favorite moveset for her, even though it's available at 3-star. Oof. Let's get rid of... Let's see. Those will work. Hopefully we don't force a pin. Load it. Hope I think we should hit some of the reinforces, so shouldn't force a pin. There we go. Got that sub loaded up. Again, I'm just targeting the reds and the yellows. So I want to make sure when the destroy move goes off that I get as many reds as possible. Okay, big cascade. So again, not the um, not the fastest build, but very easy to win with. And this should do it right here. And keep in mind, um, Hall of Fame Lita is strapped, so she's reducing de gem damage by 50%, reducing some move damage. Um, but uh, Trish is not what I would call fast. Uh, she would be a prime candidate for um, Fury or Armor. I feel like with Armor, you could put Honky Tonk Man in on some of the builds coming up, get a big pin, and hopefully keep him down. Fury would help her with kickouts and uh, with the gem destroys coming up in the next builds. So let's take a look at the 4-star set. This one will be avail uh, available at 4-star. We're going to put the finisher in, which is the Stratisfaction. And we're going to put the backhand chop in. And the Stratosphere in. So all new moves for this one. Okay, so we got the Stratisfaction. 10 MP finisher, deal 75k damage, and choose a 3x3 area to swap into blue gems. Big area on that. Uh, Stratosphere, uh, 6 MP blue, deal 42k damage, and choose a 4x2 area to swap into yellow gems. Uh, backhand chop, deal 44k damage, and choose a 7x2 area to make into reinforced gems. That one's also 6 MP. So low charge on the blues, which is quite nice. We're going to go with Lawler so we can get started turn 1. 
with four more blue MP. Uh, I'm going to go with Sami Zayn for blue move damage. He's going to add 40% more blue move damage. You can see that's going to make the moves uh, 59k and 62k. I decided to go move damage because, again, showboats are not doing a lot of gem damage. In particular, her blues are only worth 3.2k. Um, I just feel like the move damage is, is nicer. Um... She would definitely benefit from the new move medals. The blue, max blue uh, move damage medal, I think is like, what was it, 155% more damage? That would help her a bunch, because she's hitting a bunch of moves. Um, so the blue one would be really good on her. Flat ones would help too. Um, so yeah, let's get in and take a look. I'll heal up just in case. Again, I decided to go with the move damage because gem damage isn't too high, and she's got a strap reducing it in half as well. So uh, you could do reinforce. Um, you could do blue gems. I just feel like the blue move damage is, is better given the situation. So you get to choose where your reinforces go, and then you can pop your yellows down. This moveset causes a lot of pins. Um, you're blowing up a lot of the board, but it doesn't necessarily equate into a lot of damage because she is a showboat. Big, big cascade. Um, 171k. Nine by nine for the blues. And let's do it that way. Get a couple extra. Again, you can see not a ton of gem damage, even though we're blowing up a big area. go here. Should be able to get two wild cards and maybe get a decent cascade. Yeah, okay. Right in that 180k damage again. So you can see why I went move damage too. We're cycling the moves so much, um, but it just... There's not enough oomph to win fast. Uh, maybe if I had Fury Gems, um, then I might consider... Let's see, where do I want to put this? Um, there we go. That'll work. Uh, maybe I might consider running a, a Blue Gem Damage Trainer or the Reinforce. But again, if I had the medals, um, the Move Damage medals, I still think that would be the way to play this. And we are going against a fully strapped opponent, uh, so do keep that in mind. And this will absolutely finish out the match. Just for fun, let's do a, two row breaks. So there you go. That's the four-star moveset. It's solid, too. It recycles incredibly easy. It just takes a while to get there because it's a showboat. But we are, again, against a um, fully strapped opponent. So it should play a lot faster on even terms. But I think most of the time you're talking about two cycles. Um, 
maybe three, which isn't bad if you consider the fact that the move charges are low and you're going to start the cycle on turn one. Um, so let's check out the five star move set. So the five star move is the reversal, which we're going to pop in um, for the, the backhand chop. I'm going to rearrange my moves the way I like them, though. Okay. So the new move is the reversal. It's available at 5 star. It's only 5 MP. It's a kick out. Deal 86k damage and move the pin bar left by 8 notches. Uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to use it so you guys can see what that's about. Does a decent amount of damage. Um, I'm going to go with the yellow move damage trainer because it buffs both the kick out and the finisher. So finisher is going to do 100k now, and the kick out, I believe, is also over 100k. I'll be able to show you when we're in-game. The rest of the trainers are, in move, uh, are all going to stay the same. So let's get in there and see this new move. She doesn't win super fast, so it shouldn't be a problem for Lita to get a singular pin on, on us. So you should be able to see the move. A nice thing about the reversal is showboats do not have good kick out ability um, so it can come in fairly clutch and I went with the finisher because it cycles back to the blue so this way we can keep cycling back and forth uh, we just don't have the reinforced gems now is the difference Perfect. You get to use the kick out right away. And it is dealing 105k damage. Too bad if, it, if, if you get it right, so the blue move is charged, then you can hit the blue move and the finisher in one turn because you move the pin bar. Um, unfortunately, we only have the finisher loaded, so we won't get to take advantage of that and get an extra move in. Nice little cascade. 150k. Again, um, these movesets could potentially benefit quite a lot from Honky Tonk Man and Double Armor. It'd be hard for your opponents to kick out. There we go, that looks good. Finisher's ready to go again. We're definitely getting pinned here. So we get to deal another 100k damage and kick out. It's kind of fun. And we'll hit this finisher. I don't think we'll keep her down, but we might. Gonna get a nice big area of blues. Some little little bit of cascade. 150k. We might keep her down. Mm. There you go, guys. That's the five star move set. So all of them work pretty well. Um, she's a showboat, um, but not bad, you know. Um, I like I kind of like the three star move set like I said the most just because you control the board so much and uh, pretty much no chance of losing so very solid card uh, Hall of Fame card uh, great coach ability I wouldn't mind having her on my roster um, sadly she's about to go away since I'm done with this preview uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, remember to like subscribe and share all that good stuff uh, thanks for watching guys good luck out there.